So now what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at uh, an experiment in which we work out the density of regular shaped object. Now for us, our regular shaped object are two shapes, cubes and cuboids. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to work out the volume of our cube or cuboid. And to do that, you take the length, measure it by the height, and measure the width. So once you measure the length, the height, and the width, you're going to multiply them together. So that that'll give you your volume. Next, what you need to do is you need to place it on a balance and get a reading. So that's 162 grams. Now, let's make up some numbers. I'm gonna make up some numbers just to show you what you need to do. Okay, so here's the calculations. Uh, I've made up the numbers for length, height, and width. Uh, so I've said 4 centimeters, 2 centimeters, 6 centimeters. Obviously, you guys will actually use a ruler to measure the length, the width, and the height. So I've worked out my volume. My volume is length times width times height, or height times, it's all the same thing. L times H times W. So it's 4 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 6 centimeters, which is going to give me 48 centimeter cubed. That's my volume of the aluminium block. Remember, guys, I'm just making the numbers up. You guys will have to use a ruler to get accurate readings. My mass, which I checked on my scales, was 162 grams. So to work out my density, it's mass divided by volume, which is 162 grams divided by 48 centimeter cubed, which is going to give me whatever the answer is, and the units will be gram per centimeter cubed. So let's look at the uh, results table. Okay. The results table would be something like this. So I've got my material, in this case I had my aluminium block, my length, width, height, and then the volume which I calculated by multiplying those three together. My mass which I got from the measuring balance, weighing balance, and density I'm going to work out by saying mass divided by volume. And for this guys, it's important that you show your calculations. So number one, show your volume calculation which is there and number two show your density calculation so it's 162 grams so i've been a bit naughty here and not uh, including my units that's not good at all so it's 162 grams divided by 78 centimeter cubed right um, so it's 162 grams divided by 48 centimeter cubed which equals 3.375 grams per centimeter cubed However, we do not want the end answer in grams per centimeter cubed. We want it in kilograms per meter cubed. And to change this into kilograms per meter cubed, we need to divide this answer by a thousand. So once you do that, you'll have your answer in kilograms per meter cubed. So you're okay here, but then right at the end, divide that answer by a thousand to give you the answer in kilograms per meter cubed. And that is for a regular object. Next, we're gonna look at irregular objects. So what I've done is I've filled up this Eureka can or this displacement can full to the top of water. And I'm gonna wait until all the water stops dripping out. And I've got it over a sink so that I do not um, get all the place wet. Now, if you do make any spills, guys, clean it up. Stop being lazy, clean it up, right, because it's going to cause slip hazard. So I'm just going to wait for this to stop dripping. So I'm going to take my irregular shaped object, I'm going to tie it onto a piece of string so that I can dip it into the displacement or the Eureka can. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this onto my measuring balance so that I can get the mass of it. Right, and so the mass of this is 225 grams. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully and slowly place it into the Eureka can. Slowly and carefully. Okay, so... Ah. I've just forgot. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a measuring cylinder underneath. So you're going to have a partner hold that for you. Uh, or if you can, if it's balanced, it's better to have a partner. Uh, and you're just going to... So Miss Moore is helping me out here, big up Miss Moore, and <laughs> she's trying not to laugh, and um, basically she's holding the measuring cylinder, she's helping me out, and I'm going to carefully put in 
the irregular shape object into the measuring cylinder and it's going to slowly and carefully take some water out okay and we're going to collect the water and we're going to measure the amount the volume of water that comes out of the eureka can so don't stop until it completely stops pouring okay thank you very much miss moore big up miss moore okay. So with the help of Miss Moore, we've managed to collect 31 to 3 mils of water. Now 33 mils of water is the same thing as saying 33 centimeter cubed of water. So that's 33 centimeter cubed of water. So that's our volume, right? And we looked at our mass earlier, which I've forgotten what it was. I think it was 226, wasn't it? So Obviously, this is guys. Obviously, this is why you record your results as you go along. But I didn't. That was very, very bad. So I've got a mass of 232. Now, so obviously that's not good experimentation because I've got some water on that and whatnot. So it's 232 grams. We'll just stick with that for now. Uh, divided by 33 centimeter cubed uh, to work out my density. So it's 232 grams divided by 33 centimeter cubed. Uh, you do that on your calculator and that comes to 7.03 grams per centimeter cubed now to get that into kilograms per meter cubed we need to divide this answer by a thousand and that will give us our answer in kilograms per meter cubed and guys again once again for this irregular shaped object we are using exactly the same table so just rewind it to see <laughs> sad times i don't know who wrote that but hilarious um so rewind back for the table because I've lost, I think I've rubbed it off. And we're using exactly the same table, exactly the same method. Well, not exactly the same method because it's a bit different for a regular shaped object, but exactly the same calculations. Do rewind it, check it out.